And having this many open cars where somebody's going home, the pressure's on them, boys. Green flag as Alex Bowman elects the outside row for the start. All these drivers have seen these lineups. They've looked at their moves, tried to find the best matchup that they pair with. Maybe their teammate, maybe their manufacturer ally. Everybody knows where they want to be. How do they get there? And there has been no practice at Daytona this week. This is the very first lap in the draft any of these drivers have turned this year. I saw Alex Bowman there going into turn three. Got a push from Ryan Blaney. And uh, Alex said, I don't think I want anything to do with that. <laughs> he just kind of moved up and gave the inside away. It's all yours. Ryan Blaney, Ross Chastain, right back. Here comes Alex Bowman on the outside. Big shove. I still think you talk about energy. It's on that outside line. Blaney could be in trouble. It's definitely lined up that way for sure. Busher's going to move down and help him. Joey Logano's going to have to widen his car and block both lanes. Here Bell looking Bell. low. Great move by Bell. Another block by Blaney, or excuse me, Logano. Logano right in the middle of the racetrack trying to cover all the spots. Great move by Christopher Bell. Ahead, he is clear. Half ahead. Oh, he went for it. There's no help. Bell. He's going to need help on that outside. The energy's on the bottom. Blaney's not leaving that teammate, though. Nope. He's going to get a little help from Busher. Here they come to the flag for duel number one. Locano didn't make that big block. Learned from that lesson, but the energy you were talking about won that race. Got the energy when it needed it off of turn four. Won the race. Here. Stop, Joe. Zane Smith. Great Zane job. Smith has raced his way into the Daytona 500. Jimmy Johnson is in on speed. Chandler Smith. I'll tell you we'll what. Head home. Zane Smith. A different ball game at the end, but uh, man, you cannot deny this kid. Nope. Always aggressive. Always in the right spot. Special on tracks like Daytona. I like what I saw out of Busher though. The RFK cars are fast. Sixth career duel win for Team Penske among four drivers. And the 28th duel win for Ford. They've won eight of the last 11. Jamie. Smith did not qualify, which means Zane Smith, no, no relation by the way, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Zane Smith did race his way in. What a race for Zane Smith is standing by with Regan Smith. He's their way in. Let's check and see if we can get a hold of Kyle Busch since we didn't get a hold of Travis. Additionally, if one of these races is a parade, the other one is a barn burner. Let's find out. Coupled together up front, now three on the inside. Larson, Briscoe, and Kyle Busch in the eight. Connected there, big push by Briscoe, moving up right in front of his teammate. Almarola drops in in third from the outside of the front row. Has a look, thinks better of it, has another look. There. Briscoe is trying to go with him, trying to get the 10 in line on the bottom. Did not work out. Be interesting if Briscoe will move up in front of him, take the forge to the front. But that's going to stack up a lot of them Chevys underneath of them. Ten Chevys in this, seven Fords. And four Toyotas who qualified last night, 20th through 26th. I'm telling you, though, I saw, it cautions out. It's a side window. I saw it blow out of one of their cars or somebody run over it right there. Wow. Boom. Side glass. First caution flag of the night, and it comes at uh, lap seven. Not sure. A few moments ago, not a word on the radio from Chase Elliott yet. And that was very... So, oh! oh! Kyle Busch in the wall. Once a few times, very aggressive. Suarez was pushing on the back bumper of Kyle Busch. A lot of cars. Austin Hill is in it, one of those open cars. And he's got to get going. He's got a lap on Connor Daly, but... Might be exactly what He'll Connor have to Daly. get going to make the 500, and... And the Beard Motorsports number 62 is being pushed to the garage. Uh, he got turned by Travis Pastrana. Pastrana's car is out of the race. Pastrana will make it in on time. And as Hill retires, 
Connor Daly, who could not make a qualifying lap last night, who had trouble getting up to speed when they rolled off for this race tonight. He called it a once in a million chance. He's going to be in he the day 500. Not everybody is so happy. Jamie. Well, one lap hell. to go. Sponsored by Credit One Bank. He made the move, but the momentum wasn't quite there yet. There wasn't I think the that's energy a right move, but the energy wasn't quite developed. Straight slow like 10. Two Fords on the outside. Ford should be on the bottom, and Gillilin got loose after Four, a eight, bump from Larson. Larson better go give him a hug and a kiss on the cheek after this. That saved his front row stop. This that everybody awesome. gets squared away. This isn't over yet. No. Almirola way out in front of Cindric, who's going to have a chance here. He just back up. Does he, he take it? Oh, yes, he, I think he is right now. now. I think he just stays in the gas. You don't really have a choice. You can't take a chance on trying to back up to him at this point. Off turn four to the line. Almirola making bacon. How about that? Oh, man. That How about that goal. save from Todd Gillen? That saved him and a lot, whole lot of other cars. Wow. Incredible save for Gilliland, who ends up seventh, while Almirola gets his second career dual win. How about Connor Daly? <laughs> Literally said last night it's a one in a million <laughs> chance. And I agree with you. Unbelievable. Got you, boys. The Floyd Mayweather money team has done it. They're in the Daytona 500. The old saying of a chip in a chair. Eric Almirola turns uh, 39 in less than a month. He has his second career dual win in his 14th try. And he has won this race now in two of the last three years. Mark that one down as a big threat for Sunday. I agree. Great drafter. Puts himself in good place. He's smart on these type of racetracks. That's what it takes. I saw him earlier. I walked over in his bus, asked him a few questions. He was at a chiropractor over there. He says, 